Hey guys, it's Adam Blue, BlueGamer.net, and here is my Saints Row 4 review. Now, Saints Row 4 is a lot of things. It's a mech blasting through the streets. It's a caped panda doing cartwheels around town. And I don't know what the fuck that is. Saints Row 4 originally started out as DLC for Saints Row the Third, titled Enter the Dominatrix. They've turned that into a full-on retail game, and it is not just as simple as expanded DLC. With Saints Row 4, the majority of the game takes place in a simulation created by aliens that invaded Earth after the head of the Saints becomes president. While heavily influenced by the Matrix, half of that is influenced by They Live, a great movie if you haven't seen it. I think it's uh, John Carpenter. Because you are in a simulation, you can pretty much do anything, which is the basis of the gameplay in Saints Row 4. With these superpowers, you are as powerful as Donkey Beer, but the enemies and objectives are equally as powerful. So instead of being too easy, it's more about how you use your powers. You'll have a Satan's Ladder full of them. They are in the form of ground slams, blasts, buffs, and telekinesis. Infused with lightning, ice, and electricity, there's just a shit ton here. Primary missions include a lot of variety and play out like stages in an action game and are not based around the open world gameplay. That is saved for the side missions which are ass crazy and unlock all the badassery. The missions are full of amazing character dialogue, nods to many 80s and 90s action movies and have a great soundtrack to boot. There are many more great surprises in Saints Row 4 that I just don't want to spoil for you. Stay tuned for the spoilers video. Yeah, this, this is my jam! So, in the end, the Century in the Saints Row franchise is absolutely awesome and totally worth purchase. It's more than just a DLC like everyone feared. You won't get it.